you lovers. We're here at the greenhouse at 1825 Flower Farm, working like little bees, dividing all of our dahlia tubers so we can get them online for a dahlia sale. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little instruction on dividing tubers. If you're in the process of doing that yourself or just need some pointers. Um, so this clump of tubers here, generally, you want to keep your tag with the tubers that you're dividing so you, you have your name with them. Um, and you can see on this clump we have little uh, eyes sprouting up already on this clump. And when you have your clump, the ugliest tuber, the biggest kind of looks different than the other tubers, that's your mother tuber, which was the original tuber that was planted um, in the ground. And those we usually discard because they don't hold up well and they generally rot. So that will be cut out of here and, and thrown out. And you can see we have some of these little ones with the skinny little necks where the uh, neck is broke. Those wouldn't be a viable tuber. So um, let me see if I can find a clump that has a good... Okay, I generally use a little X-Acto knife, um, my snips, and I like these real pointed shears I got on Amazon. Um, they work pretty good for cutting down in here. So what you're going to need when you divide when you're dividing your tubers is you want to keep the tuber, the neck of the tuber, and a piece of the crown. And this area here is the crown, all of this in here. Uh, if it does not have a piece of crown on it, it you know, generally won't eye up and wouldn't be a viable tuber. Sometimes when you, you're dividing, even if you have a piece of crown but you don't see an eye at the time, you can still save that tuber because it may eye up later. Sometimes some varieties eye up uh, sooner than other ones. So you can see I'm just trying to get this piece of crown. There's two tubers here connected, but I'm going to remove them, I think, together at the same time. Actually, there's a little tuber down here also. So I snipped that out of there. And... So I've got three tubers connected, and then I always just trim up all these, these roots. We remove those and trim. Um, I'm going to snip this off. So we've got two tubers. There's a piece of crown here, so I'm going to trim, just split those in two. So I have actually two tubers with, um, crown, a neck, and it's a good viable tuber. And then I'll set those aside. And sometimes you can actually cut down, if you want to, you can just divide the clump down the middle. We'll put our tag by those tubers. So you can just split that down through here and divide it into two sections if it's hard to get in there. Some clumps are a little more tight, like this This one here, you can see these tubers are really tight in there. Uh, so it's going to be a little more challenging to get in here and get these little tubers with their uh, crown on them. So that's a little more difficult. Once the tubers are divided and, um, you know, you have your crown, your neck, and your tuber, then we put them in vermiculite and store them in our cold room. I usually keep the temperature around 40 to 43 degrees, and I like to keep the humidity around 80 to 85 degrees, which seems to work well. Our tubers have done well in the last three, four years at that temperature. Uh, I buy, I bought some of these little thermometers on Amazon, which give you the humidity and the um, temperature that I keep in the cold room. I usually have three or four or more of those in there and checking the temperature and the humidity, you know, several times a day at least to make sure they're happy tubers. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just email Carmen or Emily at 1825 Flower Farm. Thanks.